Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, insight into our planet's vulnerability, an earthquake, an aesthetic look at deep space, and more. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. Just looking here, it doesn't appear much is going on, especially with the coronal hole beginning to depart in the brightest area, the active region south of it, departing too with no sunspots now and will officially be back at a blank disk tomorrow if no new spots form. Plasma filaments have been the primary eruption threat in the current stretch lacking sunspots, but even they have proved to either remain calm or release far away from Earth-facing position. Let's look at the solar wind. Since yesterday's look, we indeed saw a plasma speed intensification, but it was minor. We haven't even cracked 500 kilometers per second. We will be watching today to see if another intensification occurs, but until then, the KP index shows geomagnetic calm and quiet which makes what happened even before the stream arrived all that more interesting. On Dr. Phillips' site, they are clamoring about a double magnetic shock wave that sent electric currents through the ground, and it came from space weather. Problem is that this intensified stream had not arrived yet. Now, they believe it may have been the electric field sector crossing and density shock associated with it, but let's all space weather buffs remember that a dense wave in the solar wind will draw oxygen out of the upper atmosphere into the ionosphere and above to meet that incoming hydrogen. And this ionized particle motion is going to be very visible with the new ICON and gold satellites. And it will have an effect on the geomagnetic and global electric systems. And the severity of these readings indicate that once again, with Earth's weakening magnetosphere, it takes less and less space weather now to cause significant earthly effects. Now, whether or not this stream has anything else in store is a story that will be told today in the coming hours, perhaps from the trailing portions. But let's go ahead and see what's coming up next on our star with the Stonyhurst heliographic 3D view of the sun using SDO and stereo. Here's what we see now and up next waiting behind the limb is indeed the northern coronal hole system. No bright sunspots and that's no surprise, but indeed that northern coronal hole appears to cover a good portion of the rear facing northern hemisphere right now. Top quake of the last day was actually a blot echo, 6.3 striking over 100 kilometers down and activating a local alert, but luckily not widely felt due to the depth. Folks, Hubble shared this cartwheel galaxy shot at the end of the week. That's what our eyes can see in the visible spectrum, but here's also ultraviolet from Galex, then Spitzer's infrared look, and Chandra's X-ray view showing the hottest energized gases encapsulating compact active objects. The result is a gorgeous multi-wavelength view of a tiny slice of deep space. This composite is thanks to Chandra, by the way. Last little note is the fire danger in the south central U.S. today. They must not have taken the rain we got in the valley last night. Folks, the disaster prediction app updated last night such that you can turn off those magnitude 5 earthquakes if you don't want to see them and just keep the magnitude 6 and higher. Check your notification settings. Also, a new server and new programs are going to boost some of the costs, so please get the app now before we have to bump it up a bit, probably by the end of the month. Website members, we had a 70-minute podcast session yesterday that went as far into off-science topics as it did into the usual science stuff. We also had a climate change discussion cheat sheet posted as your ninth deeper look of the year. It's for those who get frustrated in their chats about climate with others. We've got the rest of your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley at the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.